so hello everyone welcome to this new video of mycad in our last some videos we have discussed about this modification panel and in this video we will discuss the commands of this annotation panel so watch the video till the end of this to get the detailed tutorials of these commands and if you have not watched our previous videos then you can go to the i button there you can find the links or i will provide the links in the description box so the first command of our annotate panel or annotation panel is text so using this command we can write any text in our drawing sheet or in our worksheet so let's say this is the plan of uh, one residential building and this is the plan of the first floor you can see that this part is the gym of our building and the size of it is 6500 by 5950 millimeter so using text command i'll write gym and the dimension of this room in this interior part so to activate that text command i can go to this drop down menu and select single line text from here or in the command line i can type T E X T and then press enter and in the command line you can see that our text command is activated so now i'll specify the starting point of our text and the rotation means it's 0 degree so it will be horizontal so i'll press enter and now you can see one cursor is available so now i can write anything from my keyboard i'll delete all of them and write g y m and size of 6500 cross 5950 and then i'll click anywhere outside this gray box now i'll press escape and you can see this text is written on our worksheet now i'll move it because it's overlapping this instruments of gym so i'll select this by left clicking on the text and here you can see one grip is available so i'll left click on this grip and move this and place it here and to deselect that i can press escape from the keyboard or i can right click on this screen and select deselect all and you can see our text is written on this worksheet now let's say i want to write this dimension below this gym text so in this time we will use the multi line text now first i'll delete this text to delete this text i will select first that text and now i will press delete from my keyboard and now i will activate the multi line text command or m text command to activate this multi line text i can go to this down arrow and select multi line text from here or in the command line i can type m text and then press enter now in the command line you can see our m text command is activated so i'll first left click on that point from where i want to start my text and drag this box to create a box and left click here and now in this box i can write my text so i'll type g y m and then press enter to go, go to the next line now i'll write the dimension as 650 6550 by 5950 and then click the close text editor i'll close that and you can see our text is created in this two line so this is all about the text command now the next command of our annotation panel is dimension so using this command we can put the dimension of any segment or any distance so first i will select dimension from here to activate that or i can type in the command line dim and then press enter and you can see our dimension command is activated so now let's say if i want to specify the distance from this center point of this column to the center point of this column so first i will activate the so let's say i want to 
गिव दि डिस्टेंस एंड इन दि कमांड लाइन यू कैन सी आवर डायमेंशन कमांड इज एक्टिवेटेड नाउ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गिव दि डायमेंशन फ्रॉम दि सेंटर पॉइंट ऑफ दिस कॉलम टू दि सेंटर पॉइंट ऑफ दिस कॉलम देन आई कैन फर्स्ट स्पेसिफाई दिस सेंटर पॉइंट ऑफ दिस कॉलम बाई लेफ्ट क्लिकिंग ऑन दैट एंड देन इन दिस पॉइंट फॉर दिस सेंटर पॉइंट ऑफ दिस कॉलम एंड नाउ आई लेफ्ट क्लिक ऑन एनी पॉइंट वेर आई वॉन्ट टू प्लेस माई डायमेंशन एंड आई लेफ्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस पॉट एंड यू कैन सी दिस सेंटर टू सेंटर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दिस एंड दिस कॉलम इज नाउ क्रिएटेड हेयर एंड नाउ आई विल क्लोज द डायमेंशन कमांड सो टू क्लोज दैट आई विल जस्ट प्रेस एसकेप फ्रॉम माई की बोर्ड नाउ आई विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट कमांड ऑफ अवर एनोटेशन पैनल सो इफ यू गो टू दिस डाउन एरो यू कैन फाइंड डिफरेंट ऑप्शन फॉर द डायमेंशन इन सो फर्स्ट आई विल एक्टिवेट द लीनियर कमांड फ्रॉम हेयर एंड आई विल गो टू दिस फुटिंग ऑफ माई बिल्डिंग नाउ इफ आई सिलेक्ट दिस टू एंड्स ऑफ माई फुटिंग यू कैन सी आई कैन गिव द डायमेंशन ऑफ दैट पार्ट अबाउट ओनली द वर्टिकल एक्सिस एंड द हॉरिजोंटल एक्सिस नाउ लेट से आई वॉन्ट टू मेजर द लेंथ ऑफ दैट साइड नॉट ओनली बाय द हॉरिजोंटल और वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस but the actual distance now you can see i can give the dimension of that aligned line and i can measure the length of it now the next command of this drop down menu is angular means this is used to measure the angle between two segments so first i will activate that from here by left clicking on that and you can see there is a ramp like thing now if i want to measure the angle between this line and this line then i'll select this line first by left clicking on that and then select this line and you can see the angle between them is 150 degree and here you can see you can place one annotative object which is showing the angle between that two lines so i'll left click on that point where i want to place it now the next option of this drop down menu is arc length using this arc length command we can measure the length of any arc so first let's draw one arc i'll draw it by three point method if you don't know how to draw one arc using three point method then you can go to that tutorials in our channel i will put that link in the description and now let's activate that arc length command so to activate that i will go to this down arrow and select arc length from here and you can see that command is activated now it will ask to specify the polyline or that arc now i'll select this polyline by left clicking on that and place my dimension where i want to place it and you can see the length of that arc is now showing here so this is how you can use this arc length command and the next command of our drop down menu is radius and diameter these two commands is used to measure the radius and diameter of any circle or any arc now first i will draw one circle so to draw one circle i'll just go to the circle command and draw one circle and now i will activate the radius command so this is this command so you can select it from here or in the command line you can type d i m r a d so this is the shortcut for radius command now i'll press enter and now it will ask to specify the arc or any circle now i will select the circle by left clicking on that and place my object or dimension here now you can see that the radius of our circle is given here in the same way you can get the diameter of that to get that i will go to this drop down menu and select diameter from here and then i will specify this circle as my object and i'll place my dimension here and you can see that the diameter of our circle is given here thank you everyone for watching this video if you have not watched our previous videos then you can go to the i button there you can find the links or i will provide the links in our description box and if you are new to our channel then please subscribe our channel for this type of detailed tutorial and press the bell icon so that you can get notified when i'll upload this video so thank you We're gonna make it.